Can't tell if it started. I'm wearing IMs like an idiot. Yes, we're blinking. Hi, everybody. Um, mini air compressor. Vever sent me stuff. Vever? Did I order anything from Vever? Or is this one of those, hey, we're just going to send you a bunch of Amazon stuff for you to review? So, Pasta, I guess find this stuff on Amazon. Thank you, Vever, for sending out whatever this is. All I know is this says, use a pin to push the inlet valve ball for easy priming every time before I install the suction hose. What? What? Uh, yeah, I didn't order any of this. This is definitely Vever just sending things out. It's a little mini air compressor for model painting. Someone wants me to print my own anime figures and paint them. I think that's just a god coming down and telling me to do that. Look at that. I know what that is. That's to keep moisture out of the thing. So I have no idea. Pasta, please link the Vever. It's the TC-101A mini air compressor. So what the hell is that thing? We've got airbrush fittings, which I'm gonna leave in the package. We've got a ton of little sounding devices for the airbrush to clean it out. Even more little brushes. What I believe is to uh, a little, little release va leaf valve. This has gotta be for moisture with the O-ring sort of falling out. Nice. Instruction manual. I'm probably actually going to keep this bag or box handy. We've got a white hose that ends in just exposed hose. Where my hose at? We're not going to need that. Ooh, I have a cutters for this. <sighs> These are super nice. Pasta, could you go back in my history and find the five pack of CHP high quality hand tools made in Italy? Italian flush cutters. I just keep, I bought a five pack for like 20 something bucks. Keep one in your office drawer because when you have to cut like a, a thing and not just with a knife, it's the ultimate. Wow, that went real straight. Unlike most of the people here, baby. That is real, that's like sticky. That's the weirdest, it's like a silicone hose entirely. Okay, drop that. Power supply literally falling out. 12 volt, 2000 milliamp. There's that. Shit, am I gonna have to get into model painting? Little Vever, there's your power plug. This is to rest the actual spray head. You have a mode button, three LEDs, and a digital on off. And here's our hose for sucky suck, which wait, that means the hose goes like this. I'll probably read instructions at some point, but through deduction, I've deducted that this goes like this. There we go. I'm figuring this all out. And here, is the actual airbrush kit. Well, wow, am I gonna actually start airbrushing things? What would I even airbrush? Is anybody here an artist? Like, what would you air, what do I airbrush as a start? Like, I'd like to add nipples to things that don't necessarily have nipples. And I know the best way to do that would be an airbrush. God, what is that thing then? So we've got the actual, oh, that's a heavy little bastard. You don't know this is an airbrush. So you'd, you'd hold it like a pen and you go like, tss, tss, and it's a gravity feed. It's actually got another one in there, a very small one. So it's got three size containers that you would add right here. And the point of this, you know, the way it works is it pumps air from that into this, which this goes here. And you need a very specific uh, speed control. And then you would just go tss, 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 tss. And you have different adjustments for rate of flow and the air pressure itself. 
and you could extend these nozzles and it has multiple on I literally this is my father always wanted to get into this stuff and I was like no dad there is a needle to unclog straight through another needle an M needle a uh, a 0.2 needle and a 0.5 needle and you have different adapters this is for exchanging to a different hose what are these there's a 0.2 millimeter nozzle a 0.5 millimeter nozzle and this is just a very very nice little eyedropper for starting things out with instructions below it so there's Actually, what I need to do is I need to put this below it. I think you'd put this below it. If you wanted to guarantee you didn't have any moisture in the line, because adding liquid to the spray would be bad news bears. So you would simply do this. And then put this on there. And that way, yeah, that makes much more sense. Because then as you're spraying, it doesn't add much bulk to it. It would all pool here and you could drain it with a little drain. And it can't get up. All right, cool, cool. That's that's the little box. That's the little box. I didn't know what the hell was in the little box. It took forever to unbox this little box. I guess now I have a hand sprayer. An airbrush kit. Now I gotta become an artist. Like maybe like like my problems could all be solved if I just take up Something I don't think, I found that today. I found like, I'm like thinking about how to make new things on YouTube and, and like my career and the future, a lot of that's going on. And I'm, I'm so opposed to learning something new. Like someone brought up literally, literally today, it was like someone sent me a picture of them 3D printing like a, an anime figure. And like, I really would like to order one of these, but I gotta I guess I have to paint it. And I'm like, I could never paint that. I can never pay. I just, I just resigned myself from being able to learn a new skill. And it took me, like, I sat for like an hour just thinking about that. Like, what if I just changed careers today? Fucking styrofoam. Like, could I, like, become a car mechanic? Like, I understand the workings of cars. But could I, what the fuck? Electric airless paint sprayer. It's just a giant paint sprayer. This is gonna come in so fucking handy. I literally have to stain the um, the units that are outside, the 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 stands I made. So let's let's unbox continually. We've got what looks like a little cup. We've got two wrenches covered in white foam. Get that out of there. Oh God. They both say 16, or is it 61? I don't know, both and none at the same time. Let's not mix up the two things. Oh God, there's white foam. We've got a rod of some sort, a sealed rod. Hold on, hold on. What does it say? Warning. Avoid contact with power lines, which can cause burns or electrocution. What is this that I need to avoid burns? Threaded end. Regular spray. This must be to siphon through the hole. Well, we got to get we got to get to the main crux of this. We've got a nice little nylon brush. Oh, free toothbrush. There's an nylon brush with a clean out rod. We've also got a hose clamp and then another little hose clamp that is keyed. Let's bring this over here. Probably should take these things out first. Oh, baby. That's got a nice feel to it. It's freezing cold from being outside, but, and there's your lockout, so you can't, and then you, un you literally have a safety lockout. Boom, boom, boom. 
Here's our pull with an adjustment. Very nicely made actually. For like an all-in-one that comes with it. Here's our spray nozzle, which this is also most likely adjustable. I'll read instructions on that first. We've got our hose for actually siphoning. A bit stiff from being out in the cold. Right, we've got a filter so it doesn't suck up things like styrofoam. And there's our actual sprayer that we're gonna be spraying. Actually, I could spray my entire fence. I have like a 1,500 feet of fence or something stupid that I have to paint eventually. I don't know my wife is. Do not remove this tag. An airless spray gun requires that fluid be introduced at a very high pressure. Fluid under high pressure from sprayer leaks can penetrate the skin and inject substantial quantities of toxic fluid into the body. In other words, be careful. In fact, I'm not gonna even unwrap that. How nice that is though. I love when my things could inject fluid into my body. That's, that's my kink. I'm sure it's someone kink. So they use bad foam and they use good foam. This is the good stuff. This is the Kaizen foam. It doesn't like ball up. Oh, someone used a toilet paper roll. Actually it does. The world's strongest toilet paper roll. Okay. Is there an opening to this bag? I feel like since they sent this to me, I should use it for butter. Just like seriously, can I get some like YouTube points if I just melt? I'd have to get cheap butter. I couldn't get expensive butter, but they make those big bricks. If I just put this in a bucket of butter and then sprayed princess pasta down with melted butter, would you guys pay for that? I'm just, it's just a fucking spitball in here, people. Because, I mean, I'm probably gonna end up using this as a paint sprayer, but that seems boring. As a YouTuber, it, at, deep down I wanna be a YouTuber, but I'm gonna have to show my face. I think if I go to Munich Audio Show, I'm gonna show my face. Like, that's another thing. Like, it's come to the point now where it's, it's gonna be my 10 year anniversary soon. Like, uh, I think July, May or July which is perfect. May would be my 10 year anniversary of doing Z reviews at all. Not this, not the channel, but like where I started making Z reviews and pushing on this channel. You can go 10 years ago or nine years and seven months, and you'll find a Z review. I think the first one was the, um, either the Vanatu, Vanatu T1s was 10 years, it was gonna be 10 years ago in May. I didn't call it a Z review, but it was a review. And then I did an official Z review of the Indeed TA 2021 in July, or end of June. So here you go, this thing looks like a little cute little robot. If I get googly eyes on this, you'll be golden. Oh, I pushed a label down. The sticker was uh, not put on straight. So we have got low spray, prime clean, and then roll, and then high spray. So there's your adjustments there. And then this side, Looks like just a main cutoff with an arrow forward or down where do you want things to go. That's a redirect. It doesn't weigh a lot. It can actually carry this around. I do love the aluminum feet. Airless paint sprayer. Uh, 5.6 amp draw. I wonder with a 5.6 amp draw that's how many watts, it's five, it's a couple, it's a thousand watts draw probably. Cause I'm wondering if I could run this off an inverter on the back of my truck for spray painting the fence, or if I'm gonna have to get an, an actual gas powered one to do that, or put a gas generator in the back of my truck next to this and have it spray. So anyway, thank you to Vever for sending this stuff out. I like the handle, it's, 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 it's cute. This thing looks like a little robot with feet. It definitely needs the googly eyes. So links in the description to this and to this kit. May all your spraying be merry. Um, and that's it for today's episode of Z Unboxing. Uh, yeah, tell me about that butter thing. Oh God, All right, hold on everybody. I'm still using the external battery. This is the age of the external. There we go. 
until I get those. Actually, they won't be here, but I should be getting a package. Echo, where's my stuff? Battery should arrive Thursday by 10 p.m. Tomorrow. Next week. So tomorrow I'll have four new batteries for this GoPro and I can go back to just having them and then having them be dead because I'm dumb. What is this? Ooh, the seven hertz. Legatos. People are really sucking these things dry. Like they're just dick suck, dick suck, dick suck, dick suck. Dick suck. So let's see what the Legatos have to offer. They sound fancy. Also, this is going to be an anime figure. It says plastic kit, but I know what that means. So that'll be interesting. It might be not safe at work. It might be safe at work. I paid for one recently. Um, the way anime figures work, by the way, for those of you who are intending on buy, if you buy from a company like uh, Tokyo Otako Mode or Ami Ami and a couple of like Hobby Talk. Wait, Hobby Talk's a man, not a hobby shop. I forget what it's called. Anyway, if you buy from them, a lot of times you put in your pre-order, you don't pay anything until it's actually time to get thing. And then they email you and you had better fucking see the email and then you pay them afterwards. That's why you do, if you don't, then they don't, then you don't. Oh my God. The fuck am I look, what the fuck? So it's not wood, but it's meant to look like wood and it's a case the size of the box. Why do you do this seven Hertz? See, were you beaten as a child? There's way too much plastic on this gold zipper. Like, it's just a zipper. I get it. <sighs> ah! Jesus Christ. So, it's like a red fake wood leather case, which is way too big. We've got tips. We've got replacement filters. For some reason, we've got four spiral filters and i don't know if that's four other filters i think other filters on that jesus christ i always get nervous when i see ims for that because like expensive ims don't have replacement filters for things so what have you fucked up on this im to make it need a replacement filter because i'm going to lose those i think they might have made this case as big because of this book which is the full size user manual for headphones Eh. So about keep please keep this card on hand. This product is a well-designed and manufactured device with a high quality. Okay. We have got the tiniest little tips on there. Little tiny baby tips. I'm just gonna take these off and then throw them in the trash from now on. So standard case looking thing. Really nice, like, like shape. I like this shape. I like how long the nozzles are. Are we looking at MMCX or two pin, two pin wires? Good. That means I'll be able to put my expensive cables on there when it gets to it. I can't believe I'm actually excited for expensive IEM cables now. I'm so, I feel so bad. I feel like a part of me has died, but those fucking Letcher cadenzas sounded so bad. Oh, there's a cat there. They sounded so bad on my own Chimera cable. Plus it's like a $50 cable and it's like, oh, it's cables, cables are cables. And it was like, no, your impedance is off. And I'm like, oh God, it's ruined it. It's a weird weave because this is very soft. Is your brother outside or are you done? Like, are you coming back in? Where are you going? The Drake, he's, he's coming around. He's gonna get a drink maybe. But 3.5 millimeter, actually a nice small little head. Um, very soft cable. And we'll throw this on the burning rig. This box is so fucking heavy. I thought they might have hidden lead back there to make it feel more quality. Anyway, move off of all this shit. I am as I am as I am. The Rinkos have also broken me. Because now it's like, oh my God, is it the Rinko? Are you listening to the Rinko? Why aren't you listening to the Rinko? I literally moved a separate DAC amp. The IFI... Uh, Neo IDSD. I couldn't remember the name of that earlier this morning. That was convenient. It's a double. Okay, so whenever I buy an, uh, an anime figure now, I look at it and go, do I want to take all my money and just give it to someone for an anime figure? Or do I want to take more money, 
get a second one, put it in the yard sale, and at least have a fucking chance to have saved money on the first enemy waifu. This may not work for you if you're like just gonna sell it on eBay, but I have patrons and I have the yard sales. So when I buy something, it's always, do I want it? You okay? Do I wanna have at least an option to make money? Because if I only buy one, then it's mine and I keep it and it's the end of the story. But if I buy two or three, Is he okay? He's got something stuck in his ear? Fuck, I may have to go check him out. I've never seen him go running like that. He was just outside, maybe he had a bug on him. All right, do not judge me. It's Eris, Greyjoy. Wait, not Greyjoy. Grey Worm, Grey Hat. What the fuck's her name, God damn it! It's Eris from Mashoku Tensei with her butt hanging out. This is amazing and will be cherished forever. If you haven't seen Mashoku Tensei, uh, slightly controversial in its, in its things, but holy fuck, what good storytelling. It's one of those, it's one of those like, yeah, but is he, is he like a 40 year old dude in a kid's body? And what is he doing with that guy? It's like, it's one of those, but once you get past that and you realize, okay, he's literally never lived, now he's finally living. So how old is he now? God, fuck, it's such a good show. There you go, that's what it's going to look like. I will gladly, I pay it gladly. I love these clear boxes too. I don't have to keep them, but if you need to like cut a piece of this out and use it somewhere, or if you wanted to really be cool, you could uh, replace like a picture frame with it. So yeah, one of these will end up going in the yard sale. Unless I make them into literally two. I thought about this and I, would, I don't know how much I'd have to get sponsored to do this, but if I set up a room at like Expona or Munich or like any of those really high end audio shows where they always put out the fucking stupid, stupid, stupid wire stands, I'm always like, well, what if I, like, what if I bought like 10 Revies? Like she was like $170. But you realize that $1,700 for like speaker cable risers would be dirt cheap. But I could just set her up on the floor, five of her in a row, and just put wires on her arms and just drape all the wires on anime figures and be like, no, 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 no. These are special crafted figures. They, they channel the chi of the audio. Yeah, so this was definitely a, a high quality figure and worth the wait. So she's got, I've got to remove her head. They've made a thing so that you basically, if you don't remove the head of your anime figure to prove that it's not real, they will not let you enjoy it. And I don't like using them on bases. Usually I like them being on their own. Holy fuck. They, this is how you know it's a good figure. They've got the foam. This is foam literally attached to the plastic. They've got every, like three or four of these individual hairs that would have probably been damaged and vibration are protected. And now I've got to remove her head. I hope. Wait, there was instructions. Head comes off, looks like it comes straight off her shoulders. So I'm lifting up, I've got to go forward. Oh my God, rip Eris' head off. Jesus, that was tight. And that comes off of there. Look at this hair. Look at the little fucking, how, how do you manufacture something with the hair and shit that's this fucking fine? By the way, if I just put that on my desk, would that freak anybody out? <laughs> that's fucking wild. Dude, look at, this is, this might be the best hair on a figure I've ever seen. Like seriously, like no joke, no weebiness around it. Just the manufacturing processes. They must have glued all of these together and painted them all together. And the face is good too. So anything else we've got to remove from here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's a weird fucking angle. Holy shit. I, Pasta can tell that a figure just arrived. I know she could feel it. Wait, how the fuck does this go? Because there's a square with a notch. Oh, because she's looking hard right. <laughs> the fucking polarity of her head being like 
six inches off her body further than it needs to be. There we go. All right, that's any accessories, any alternates, any pubic hair. I've gotten some figures that actually have interchangeable pubic hair stickers. That is, that is as nice a figure as I, I was hoping it would be good and this is way bigger. And well, her hair is way bigger. That's about the average size I was expecting. But she's even got a ring on her hand. That's fucking nutty. Anyway, we're done. Eris, we're done. Links to this pasta, if you can find it on Amazon. Eris Grey Rat, doing her things.